this last couple of weeks I haven't posted anything because I've just been working I've done all sorts of bits I've repaired a staircase plastered underneath boarded and plastered underneath that did a little bit of the house with the kitchen cut off the bull nose I repaired a bull nose this year and I cut one off this year I have very little to do with bull noses normally and I've been doing this this was a toilet that I removed a while ago I repaired the plaster but that's as far as I got so I've been getting on with that I filmed a few bits I've just planed these down a little bit less than 20 mil I think they're about 18 now but they were 20 mil I'm just going to give them a quick coat of primer it's what I'm going to prime it with it's pre-cut primer no mixing involved it's probably the easiest paint to spray it lays nice and flat it's just not as hard wearing as the PU so I'm going to use this gun it's an ANI but it's got a 2.5 mil nozzle so we'll see how this goes I might end up having to thin it down but I won't see how slowly it goes through compared to the other stuff might be a bit too thick yeah I did have to thin it down a bit See the fan pattern, that's on pretty much its maximum. So it don't go half as wide as the Deva Bliss. But it don't matter, this is just a primer just to seal these wood, these bits of wood. This stuff dries faster than the PU, so turn them over. Do the other side. Right, these are going to be the uprights in this hallway and the shelves it's all the same size timber I might have to rip some down for the corners but I primed it two coats two coats of primer on both sides so that when I get to the job I can pick out the best sides I primed the back because I'm going to be making these frames and then plastering up the panels in between. I want this to be a bit shallower, but I wanted a decent sized timber to be able to fix the wall and get it nice and straight. But then I'll be skimming inside the panels. This corner. I 
Right, I'm going to join that mark up to this corner and cut that off. Right, so I've marked that. And I'll cut that piece and it should match that then. I'll need to pull in straight, but uh, put a biscuit in that corner. Just have to lift these two. Right, I've got to make one of these for the top of the staircase in the wall. See somebody's cut that edge off. So I'll cut a piece of wood to this thickness and size. I was going to do it on my old tenoning jig that I haven't used since I bought the domino, but it sits this side and it's set up to go on that side. And because of the way the tilt of my blade. Yeah, it sits on there, but my blade's going the wrong way. So, let's see if I can do it on here. Cut a piece of wood first.
now I've marked the centre, put a screw in the back of here. And on this side I know how high I need to be cutting. This saw sort of tilts both ways, so I'm going to tilt it over a little bit, but I need to support this somehow. No, <clears throat> won't do that. About the right size. Just need to give it a sand. Just take off these edges. I'll just sand those off.
sanding edges over like this you want to sand that way if you sand that way there's a chance you'll break out the grain you see the way the grain's going there there's a chance you'll break it out so you want to sand that way so that you're pushing it onto the wood if that makes sense so you don't want to go that way want it too sharp it's got to match the other one a little bit See this one's quite rounded, this one gets the most abuse, that's where the bathroom was, that probably didn't get damaged much, so I'll sand it round a bit more, run a bit of decorator's cork around the bottom, I might let the decorator do that because it's shit, so it'll make it look crap like that one, I'll skim that, I'll skim that one, just got to do the window. I did the ceiling yesterday and that was a pain in the neck. Try to get around these round corners. But it's done. to create something that's about it's got quite a full round on the front but then a flat on the top so I need to create something like that
Oh, looks like they've been painted. Got these to put on. And I've got to skim the inside of this. I've already painted that. And bead to go around the window. Right, beading's going in. Little ones first. And then you can normally spring these in, but these are quite thick. So I'm going to cut them to close to length. I'm just going to use a block and my hammer. Tap them in. using 40 mil pins, 18 gauge 40 mil pins. Just got to skim the top of that and these two sides. That'll be done. Those blocks are on. So they can be finished painted. And I've just got to try and make up this moulding somehow.